Howdy guys, this is Nintendo Capri Sun, and we are back with Let's Play Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghosts. So, I've played through the game a second time, I'm currently at level 7, and <coughs> pretty much the only reason I'm showing level 7 is so I can kind of just show how the whole process of getting the bracelet works. It's not really a big deal, it just shows up as another weapon, but I thought it would be, you know, just better to show myself picking it up so you can see what it looks like and everything like oh crap 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 oh man he just turned me into a girl <laughs> pretty hot girl actually how about that maybe if Quin uh, if princess Guinevere has any uh, lesbian kind of um, tendencies then she might get a kick out of that I don't know <coughs> anyway yeah as long I, I guess as long as you have your gold armor then no other weapon besides the bracelet ever shows up in any of the treasure chests, because I didn't see one. I saw the bracelet about six times on the way here, but <laughs> no other weapon, so... Except for ones that were dropped by pots. Enemies carrying pots, anyway. So, that one should have the bracelet in it, then. But, I'm gonna take this guy out first, since I still have this weapon. I should enjoy it one last time. I mean, the bracelet's not a bad weapon, it's insanely powerful. It does hellacious damage, that's what it's gonna look like. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to... Yeah. I was hoping to have this guy gone before, you know, so you could see it, or, like, so you could focus on it. I could just pick it up and finish him off, I suppose. If I could just get one hit in, I'm sure I'd kill him. Yeah. Fine, he's not doing anything. <coughs> there we go. We got him. I think we got him. Good lord, I have, to, I have to have hit him like a million times by now. There, I think I got him. Okay, this is the bracelet, and this is what it looks like. And what it sounds like. Insanely powerful weapon. The closer you are to an enemy, the more damage it does. Like these guys right here, pretty much go down in three hits. Or, well... I don't know, you have to be pretty close, though, to do the max damage. But, if you do it, rest assured. Yeah, this also wipes out the fireballs. I mean, it wipes out everything. It's a good weapon. As far as it, the way it fires, it might not be the most practical to fight certain bosses with, which is why I usually wait till level 7 to pick it up. But see that? Just one hit takes everything out. And it goes through enemies, too, which is nice. And it has a much longer range if you have the gold armor. If you lose your armor, you lose a lot of your range on the weapon, so... So try to hang on to your armor. <laughs> That's why I'm taking it slow here. Just trying to make sure and do this right. Yeah, I think that might be able to, it might be possible to jump up there, I'm not sure. Yeah, fighting these bosses with the bracelet is probably harder than fighting the final boss, actually. But, you gotta do it, so here we go. At least this time, <coughs> we'll get the victory music, and we pick up the key, unlike we did last time. We got that message from the princess saying we failed, basically. So it's not enough to rescue a princess, apparently, these days. You gotta bring her jewelry, too. So, whatever. Yeah, you can't afford to lose the range that the gold armor gives you with this. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be fighting up close, and it's just... It's not fun. So... I am so sorry about my throat. Just every other word comes out of my mouth. It's like... It's like freaking tonsils. They get, like, ten times as big. Yeah. Ah, oh, I tell you. Describe it. I know some people have their tonsils taken out, but even to this day, I don't know if that's something that's required. It's like wisdom teeth. I mean, who knows? There we go. <coughs> Try to get in a couple hits up close before, you know, before we have to fight him at long range. That right there is probably half his life right there. Now you can get him from down here. Anytime that you jump twice and fire a weapon after the second jump, I think it's a little more powerful than usual, because sometimes it flashes a different color. Boom. Yeah, just take your time. I mean, don't get hit. That's all I'm... That's all I'm saying. At least I prefer not to get hit. I mean, it's so much more epic if you do it with the gold armor anyway. I mean, I've come this far. Might as well. Okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll throw that thing out at the worst possible time, like when he knows that it's going to hit you. So you gotta pay attention to his body, and when you see that little stripe going down his body, you know it's coming, so get ready to duck or whatever. No. <coughs> I think we might have him this time.
time. Oopsie. He's gonna fire it again in a second here. No, he's gonna wait till I jump? No. Okay. Every little bit counts, don't, you know, don't fret. Shoot, I'm up to eight minutes already. How is that even possible? Oh no. There we go! And we get to go through this time! Alright! Nice! And thus begins level eight, the final battle.